You may want to give me your attention, because for the next 3 minutes we'll be going on a journey to show you 7 epic shots you can do with your gimbal. Without any further ado, let's get this party started. First one is hyperlapse. Remember how painful it used to be doing hyperlapses with a tripod? Well, here's a faster way to do it. Get an intervalometer, connect it to the camera, dial down the shutter speed to get that sweet motion blur, and if the image is too bright, use an ND filter. And boom! In just a couple of minutes, you can achieve this. Next is the stop motion effect. This shot is similar to the hyperlapse method, however, has a completely different result. All you need to do here is switch to continuous shooting on your camera, so you can do this. Now simply hold down the shutter and get a shot how you would normally do. I know, it looks weird, but wait until we slow it down by 50% and add warp stabilizer. Oh yeah, now it's looking cool. We actually made a whole dancing video using this method, so go and check it out. The hero shot. This one is very simple. Hold your gimbal as low to the ground as possible, start by filming the ground and as you get closer to your subject, Slowly pull your camera up while keeping your gimbal low to the ground. Out to in focus. This one is awesome and super simple as well. Start by opening your aperture as much as you can, get close to your subject, focus on him and now lock your focus. Hold for a couple of seconds and then start slowly backing up. Once you have the shot, all you need to do is reverse it in post and you get this dreamy effect. Next level follow shot. Had no idea how to name this one so uh yeah. Anyway, this one is as simple as it can get. Find a tunnel or an alleyway, start by being far from your subject and as they pass by, get as close as possible to them and make sure to walk fast. This will add a bunch of dynamism to your shots and if you add a little bit of rotation and zoom to your shot, it looks almost like an FPV drone shot, eh? Nice. Talking about FPV drones, next one's the POV shot. Switch your gimbal mode to POV and simply go crazy. It's the same thing as filming in the follow mode, but now you can roll your camera to the left and right. I'd recommend using this mode when filming action scenes. The Hero Shot version 2. Man, I am just so creative with these names, eh? This is similar to the original Hero Shot. However, this time not only you'll be tilting your camera up, but the gimbal as well. And you're gonna be orbiting around your subject. I know, I know, this sounds complicated, but if you look at this clip, you'll see that it's really simple. And this is a great establishing shot for your protagonist. Don't be afraid to twist your gimbal in weird ways. I am sure you'll come up with awesome gimbal moves along the way to get these types of funky shots. And a little bonus tip for all you lovely people. If you're not feeling your shots when filming action, simply try to change your perspective by holding your gimbal as low to the ground as possible. This will make your subject look way more epic and badass. Hopefully some of these gimbal shots will inspire you to go out and experiment yourself. Have an awesome day and you know the drill. Peace out. <laughs>